too addicted to Amazon Prime, guys. And these. No skateboard today. All right, how you doing guys? Hope everyone's good. This looks pretty cool. It's like um, a USB-C to normal USB adapter. Another little um, easy way of connecting anything to your MacBook. Because <laughs> you can't do it without it. Anyway, whilst we're on the subject of um, computers, you remember the little video that I did about um, this little MacBook, um, which is what I'm now using. Um, I also use a MacBook Pro as well, and this iMac here. But, um, yeah, basically, I'm using the MacBook every day, um, you know, for everyday stuff. Anyway, I just wanted to show you something which um, we're gonna be doing through Cloudster, which is pretty interesting. Um, I know most of you might know that um, Cloudstow does basically mini PCs, so we, we make and produce mini PCs um, for all sorts of stuff really, just like from the things that you see in doctor's surgeries where they've got like a screen up and it shows like advertising, things like that, through to running, you know, proper apps and stuff like that in, in businesses, things like this. You, some companies use them for desktop computers and all sorts of things. So this technology, it moves super, super quick. Like the mobile space is just like probably the biggest growth area um, in the last few years. You know, smartphones, tablets, miniature sized computers. So this is kind of where everything's going, um, well I believe anyway. So things like this, the small MacBook, um, you know, is a perfect example of like miniaturized computing and yeah things that have just been scaled down but are actually powerful enough for like to do everyday tasks anyway guys this is proper cutting edge you won't see this anywhere else um this is a brand new mini pc which we're just about to launch um it's not even completely finished yet but um i'm going to give you a sneak preview of, of what it is so this is a computer it's 145 millimeters long very very small and it basically is a it's basically a computer like a windows computer or a linux computer um is in this box so you can plug this into any screen there's like a hdmi socket on it um and yeah basically sd card slot usb ports usb c as well so here's a little plan view you've got usb ports on there um you've got an audio connector you've got the hdmi down there you've got um like ethernet so you can plug in like a wide ethernet connector usb 3 oh that's actually the um the audio connector there and usb c a power switch um, power on LED, um, and a little, um, oh, my hands in the way, and a little micro SD card slot as well. I won't go through all the specs because I'll put it, it's all going to be on the website on cloudstow.com uh, as a new product. Um, so yeah, head over there if you're interested in this sort of thing. Um, but the key thing about this is it actually supports SSDs as well. So you can actually put like a, a solid state hard drive in there, which is just, just brilliant. So guys in China have been working really, really hard on this and we should have first samples Probably, it might be this week, it might be this week, if we're lucky, that'd be so good if it is. But um, anyway, I'll keep you posted on that. Um, it's really, really exciting. The other thing I picked up was just like a replacement bike light. The red one at the back fell off the other day. Really annoying, but I just had to get another one. UK days today where it's like look at this oh it's just wet right the mini PC is up on the website guys um, so if you want to go and check it out head to cloudstow.com and um, you'll find it in Windows mini PCs or uh, Linux mini PCs as well it's basically two types we're gonna do um, Windows 10 and an Ubuntu one. Don't know what's happened to my voice, by the way. I think I've just finally got this cold that Sarah's had for like two weeks. Anyway, all the specs are on there, so go check it out um, if you're interested in that. And um, I'm gonna stick a lot more information. There's a lot more stuff to put on there, um, showing like you know how it works and everything else. Um, a few more pictures, a few more videos, and all that kind of thing. So yeah, if you've got any questions and stuff, just ping them through um, in the comments and or send me an email or whatever usual stuff or you can go through the, the contact form on the on the website as well but i think it's going to be a good little device this one because it's the most powerful one ever 
Well, they, they will, every single one that comes out is more powerful than the last one. So yeah, it's crazy really. These things are just you know, so powerful that they can run multiple apps at any one time. I mean, the stuff I've been doing on the MacBook, originally I said, you know, I'm not going to do anything too intensive on it. I'm just going to, you know, use it for what it is and, you know, not go overboard. But actually, you know, I found myself kind of falling back into my kind of MacBook Pro ways and just leaving everything open. So leaving like Photoshop open, leaving mail open, leaving like numbers open, leaving Final Cut open as well. And I've, at one point, I think I've had like Photoshop Logic Pro, which is like the music um, making program and Final Cut. Pro as well, all like really intensive programs, all open at the same time, which you know is like fine on a MacBook Pro, but you shouldn't be really able to do that on something with a you know a mobile processor. It's it's pretty interesting stuff. I think it's more how like the actual computer um, or the, the CPU kind of manages all the tasks. You know, it doesn't it doesn't have like each app running full steam. You know, in the background, it will shut those down probably or something like that, but. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's impressive. So that's why I'm really excited about these new um, mini PCs because, um, you know, we did Cherry Trail mini PCs which have been massively popular, um, but, you know, this is like the next generation now and, you know, it's looking really, really exciting. Oh, it's not letting up. It's one of those days, guys. It's raining, don't feel particularly good and Oh, I don't know what's happened to my voice. So if the vlog's been boring today, <laughs> but it kind of started off on like a computer note, and um, I think that's kind of where the rest of the day's going. I'm just kind of like thinking about um, these little computers and stuff. I don't know, it's just been, the weather's been rubbish, so there's no drone flying, no like fun outdoors. I like to get outside like at least once a day to do something. Um, but yeah, it's just been a bit kind of, bit kind of rubbish weather, so I can't really do that. But that might not be a bad thing because I've just come across something quite interesting. Whilst I'm kind of thinking about the computers and um, all of this, take a look at this. So I've known this thing has like existed before. Um, it's called Hackintosh. Basically, like it's allowing you to run Mac OS on, on any computer, not just a Mac, um, which is pretty interesting stuff. Um, I'm just kind of cruising around. I've got a few tabs open on it. Um, but... The main thing I found is this, install macOS Sierra on any supported Intel based PC and it basically gives you the steps to like install OS X on, um, well, just on like a PC basically. Um, so what I'm thinking, well you know what I'm probably thinking, um, <laughs> could we install it on one of these um, one of these small mini PCs because technically they've got more power than one of these laptops. Um, and they're very very small so I don't know could it could work I mean we've done lots of kind of work with um, getting Linux up and running on um, these little computers but yeah maybe it'll work I don't know you know I wouldn't expect it would work out of the box but um, yeah how cool would that be to run um, OS X on one of those little PCs plug it into any screen take it anywhere plonk it down and that would lay to run like Final Cut and all these apps um, that you need to use if you're sort of into creating, um, but not necessarily run it on, on Mac hardware. And now that would be really, really cool. So if you found this video um, from the description, I'm talking about Hackintoshes and stuff like that, um, yeah, feel free to drop us a comment. Um, there's obviously, you know, a lot of um, people that know a lot about this. By looking online, there's like a whole massive community online of people that are doing this. So yeah, so, so interesting. And the other thing is as well, because Apple have basically just like decided to remove USB ports from computers um, and also even take away like SD card slots away from the um, from the MacBook Pro and just make it a lot harder to connect things to the computer that people want to do it. I know there's a lot of people, um, especially YouTubers, that are not upgrading their MacBook Pros now because, you know, because of the problems with not being able to put an SD card straight out of the camera, straight into the side of the thing. I mean, you know, it's one of these things where Apple changes the rules and everyone has to try and get used to it. But actually, yeah, why not run um, Mac OS on, you know, some other hardware? I mean, we run all these other operating systems on lots of different um, bits of hardware. <laughs> It's 
comes these guys, it's so rubbish outside, you can't even fly outside. One for the drone newbies, but she's just flying forward and backwards. Keep doing that. Get a feel for it and try and maintain the height. After that, spin it round and do it the other way. And then try and do a little circuit.